This is Ashley with The Panicked Foodie, and today I am going to show you how to make penny with sausage, squash, and spinach. First, bring a large pot with some water to a boil. You do not need a pot this large, but this is what I had on hand. Add the frozen butternut squash. Be careful with the splashing boiling water. Give the squash a quick stir and then cover the pot. Return to a boil. Add the gluten-free penny. Give everything a quick stir. Reduce heat while still maintaining a boil and cook for 4 minutes. Add the baby spinach and cook for another 3 minutes. The spinach should be wilted at the end of the cooking time. Drain and then return the squash, penny, and spinach to the pot. Cover and set aside. To a 3 quart pan, add butter of your choice. Partially melt over medium heat. Add the shallot. And the sausage. Stir to coat. Cook for about 5 minutes until the shallot is soft. You have to be careful here though. Because the butter is being cooked over medium heat, there is the possibility that it could transition to brown butter and then burned butter if you're not watching it closely enough. If you notice that it is browning part way through cooking, immediately remove from the heat and proceed with the rest of the video. Add in gluten-free flour. Stir to coat. For this next part, I like to turn down the heat a notch or two, but you don't have to. Add in a little bit of milk of your choice. Stir to combine. As you are stirring, you will be scraping up bits of cooked flour from the pan. You are going to continue in this way, adding a little bit of milk and then stirring until everything is combined until all of the milk is gone. I usually do this four or five times. This process produces a beautiful bechamel, also known as a white sauce. It is used as a base for other sauces. If the incorporation is done correctly, you should have a clump-free sauce with some body to it. After mixing in all of the milk, I like to switch over to a whisk to make sure there aren't any clumps left. Make sure the heat is on medium and cook the sauce for 3-5 to five minutes to thicken it while stirring frequently to prevent burning. Next, we are going to add in Parmesan cheese to turn our bechamel into a cheese sauce. Continue mixing until the cheese is all melted. Finally, add ground nutmeg, rubbed sage, and iodized salt. Mix until combined. You can see here that we are left with a velvety and rich cheese sauce. Turn the heat to low. To complete the dish, add the penny, sausage, and squash to the cheese sauce. Gently mix until all of the noodles are coated. I like to garnish this dish with a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes and some more shredded Parmesan cheese. You can garnish with a different type of cheese if you wish. Replace the lid and allow the cheese topping to melt. When satisfied, remove pan from heat and turn the stove off. Serve with a roll or a piece of bread and enjoy. If you like my recipes and want to get more, click like and subscribe below. Thank you for watching!